Right, so hello everyone. This is Gilbert Pina from the National Telehealth Center. Together with Aliyah Evangelista, we are from the Asia eHealth Information Network Secretariat. Welcome to another session of Aging Hour. And apparently Aliyah will not be with us for this webinar, so I hope it's okay with you if I'll be hosting this on her behalf. Okay. So for those who are new here, the Aging Hour is our bi-monthly webinar series where we feature topics on e-health, health information systems, and information technology for civil registration. Our time now in the Philippines is 4.05 p.m., and we are broadcasting from the National Telehealth Center, which also holds the Secretariat of Aging in Manila. So today we are going to talk about SNOMED CT, the global language of healthcare. So just a bit of an introduction, SNOMED CT is the most comprehensive multilingual clinical healthcare terminology in the world. As the leading health terminology, SNOMED CT is uniquely positioned to enable health information capture and exchange globally. In this web webinar, we'll, we have Liara Totina and also Linda Bird from the International Health Terminology Standards Development Organization, or IHTSDO, and they will be providing their insights to the benefits about SNOMED CT on how it can deliver to patients, implementing organizations, nations, and the global community. They'll also explain the pivotal role of the SNOMED CT in helping derive value from investment in health IT solutions and also in establishing a clinical knowledge management for improved performance and healthcare delivery. Before we start, please be reminded of four things in this meeting. That's the platform, how to participate, the program, and the email feedback. Firstly, we're now using Cisco WebEx Event Center. So if you are encountering problems as you participate, please log out the session and rejoin in our WebEx website immediately. Now, our link, that's bit.ly.com slash 18 hour. Our room number is 862-997-547, and the password is reef, that's 123. Secondly, your microphone will be on mute during the meeting but you can actively participate in three ways. That's by sending feedback to the session, chatting your responses, and posting your questions. You can send your feedback by clicking the feedback button on the right side of your screen. That's below the participants window. It's a dialogue balloon with a check mark. On the drop down, you can respond by yes or no. You can say that the presentation is too fast or too slow. Appreciate the speaker with an applause or send your virtual laughter. You can also send a message to the host or panelists in the chat box beside the participant button. I strongly encourage you to chat your thoughts and insights here and we'll just broadcast it. Note, you can only chat to either the host or the presenter and not to all the attend attendees of the session. You can also post your questions by selecting the person you want to ask and then type in your inquiry. Please note the difference between the chat box and the question box so that we can respond to important queries. And lastly, you can check your email and answer the evaluation form. So that's it. Now you know the four things to remember in the session. Again, that's the platform, how to participate, the program, and the email feedback. Now we're done on how to participate. Now let's proceed to the program details. So this session will be running for an hour and there will be a Q&A box where you can send your questions as it arises. Now I would like to introduce to you our speaker. Her name is Leara Tutina. She is the customer relations lead for Asia Pacific of the International Health Terminology Standards Development Organization. She has over 15 years of experience from both government and private sector. And prior to joining the IHTSDO, she worked on one of the largest IT programs in the world, 
the National Health Service Connecting for Health National Program for Information Technology. During the eight years of this program in the United Kingdom, she was a key player in delivering business transformation management, program governance and controls, and procurement and financial management. Also prior to this, she worked in a business development and financial management for a multinational commercial business in Europe and Australia. She holds a Master of Commerce in International Business and Technology from the University of Sydney and she also speaks four languages. Also with us is Linda Bird, she is also um, part of the IHTSDO and she worked for two SNOMED City National Release Centers. She'll be with us as a panelist and she'll be answering your queries about SNOMED City. So I know you're excited as much as I am in this session, so without further ado, let us welcome Liara. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to AHI and Hour and this presentation about SNOMED CT. Um, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Liara Tatina, and I represent IHDSDO's customer relations in Asia-Pacific region. I would also like to introduce Linda Bird, um, IHDSDO implementation specialist. Um, she will be able to provide answers to SNOMED CT implementation-related questions that you may have during the presentation today. Today, I would like to talk to you about SNOMED CT and the critical role that SNOMED CT can play in helping make effective use of clinical information. It can improve patient health outcomes and it can improve health system performance. So we'll go through um, elements of SNOMED CT, the role of IHDSDO in delivering it, as well as at a very high level what SNOMED is and what are the benefits that you could expect to gain from using it. We'll allow also time for questions and answers. So SNOMED CT, it is the most comprehensive multilingual clinical terminology in the world, as was said before. Um, it supports the safe and effective recording, communication, and reuse of high quality, meaningful clinical information and health records. Um, SNOMED CT is owned and maintained by the International Health Terminology Standards Development Organization, or for short, IHDSDO. IHDSDO currently is comprised of 70, 20, sorry, 27 member countries, and the most recent of um, those who joined was India earlier this year. Uh, the membership is growing, and uh, we're welcoming all new members who choose to join the organization. In terms of International Health Terminology Standards Development Organization, or IHDSDO, it is an international non-for-profit association that's based in Denmark. It is owned by national members and governed by members through the General Assembly. The management board is an operational entity that is elected by General Assembly, and the countries fund the um, operations of the organization. And the focus of IHDSDO is, is this is a product and service organization with a key product being SNOMED. Um, IHDSDO delivers SNOMED uh, through licenses to registered affiliates and it is free for use in member countries. It is also free to some of the poorest countries in the world and there's also free use for public goods applications on certain case by case applications. Um, it is um, based on assessment of um, wealth of each country and that's what determines the rates for the joining of the membership. In terms of um, electronic health records, as we all know, they have significantly, uh, or rather they have um, opportunity to significantly improve communications and availability of clinical information. But the real challenge really is how to make the health records meaningful um, to enable meaning-based capture, retrieval, and sharing of information. SNOMED CT enables effective search of patient data for clinical care, um, decision support, monitoring, audit, research, and reporting. So as such, SNOMED CT represents clinical information meaningfully as a part of well-designed EHR. 
So SNOMED CT clinical terms. So what is SNOMED? Um, SNOMED CT is a controlled coded clinical terminology that enables meaning-based capture, retrieval, and sharing of information as part of electronic health records. Um, it was developed in the US and UK, and its design is based on user requirements on clinical experience and scientific principles. SNOMED CT is currently used in more than 50 countries across the world, and it has a comprehensive and multilingual foundation, and it currently contains more than 311,000 active concepts with unique meaning. It is designed based on uh, user requirements, on practical experience, as well as scientific principles as the basis for it, but there are much more that goes into development of SNOMED CT, which we'll look into further in the presentation. So SNOMED CT is not just a coding system of diagnoses. It, is also, it also covers other types of clinical findings, like signs and symptoms, as well as procedures, observables, body structure, organisms, substances, pharmaceutical products physical objects, physical forces, specimens, and a host of other types of information that may be needed to be recorded um, in or around the health record. So one language has many expressions. Sonom and CT allows its users to be expressive. A single clinical concept in Sonom and CT, such as myocardial infarction disorder, may be represented as an example, by multiple synonymous descriptions, such as cardiac infarction or heart attack, to correspond with different ways that users of different specialities and backgrounds may express the clinical observations, interpretations, and interventions. A SNOMED CT term or concept can be encoded within the health record using uh, an unique identifier to the specific term selected by a user or the underlying concept. So in terms of um, benefits that such design provides to SNOMED CT, as the most comprehensive clinical terminology, um, SNOMED CT reduces the need to support multiple coding systems. If we could have the next slide, thank you. Yep. It can offer the implementers cost savings. Um, in fact, the researchers from the Medical University of Warsaw in Poland estimated that to recreate SNOMED CT would require an investment of between 25 to 50 million US dollars. So in terms of the cost savings that um, a nation or an implementer would gain from it, it would be quite substantial to reuse internationally leveraged um, standards such as SNOMED. SNOMED concepts have precise clinically validated definitions that are expressed using computer processable description logic. So that's what we mean by referring to logical definitions. It allows clinically relevant meaning-based retrieval. The post-coordination allows combining codes to add detail and specificity and to increase scope. SNOMED CT is regularly updated, and there is, um, it's released twice annually. There are also plans to have an ongoing release mechanism to allow um, people to use SNOMED updates as and when required moving forward. It supports full historic version control. In terms of SNOMED CT and classifications, so what are the links or differences between SNOMED CT and classifications such as ICD-9 and ICD-10? While classifications are essential to the bigger picture view of healthcare, they group ideas for aggregation and analysis and add statistical value to data. However, classifications have limited value in individual patient EHR. Classifications represent one dimension of meaning but provide no links to, for example, body sites or causes. 
Unlike classification systems, um, SNOMED CT data can be coded an, at an appropriate level of detail to support day-to-day -day clinical decisions. It has rich semantic structure that adds meaning to the electronic health records. This data can also be repurposed to support other health systems or, for example, reporting. So it has very broad scope of coverage. SNOMED CT is also mapped to classifications and there are existing maps to ICD-9-CM, which is US-based, or ICD-10, UK NHS. ICDSDO is also currently developing a map from SNOMED CT to ICD-10 International. In terms of harmonization with standards and other classifications, ICDSDO collaborates with many other standard organizations to ensure compatibility and interoperability between SNOMED CT and other associated informatics standards. Some of the key collaborations include the World Health Organization, the Regan Street Institute, the Health uh, Level 7 International, Global Medical Devices Nomenclature Agency or GMDN, the International Council of Nurses, or ICN, and many more. Relationships with SNOMED CT and standardized maps to other healthcare-related coding systems provide a clinically validated way for computer systems to collect, connect, aggregate, translate, or exchange health information for various uses. So in terms of why SNOMED, um, why would um, anybody, let's say clinicians or nation or vendors, want to use SNOMED instead of proprietary codes. SNOMED CT supports different disciplines and specialities and stages of patient care. It is the only terminology that standard that is comprehensive enough to support the needs of clinicians across different healthcare disciplines. Although there are thousands of clinical concepts that can be coded, implementers can pick and choose what they need from SNOMED to meet their specific business or clinical needs. Reference sets, which are comprised of group of similar concepts, can be easily customized to different care settings, specialities, languages, or regions to make SNOMED easier to use. SNOMED CT also enables interoperability of clinical data, which means it can be portable um, from one system to another, unlike proprietary code systems. It can also, it has also been designed by clinicians and it can be configured to meet specific requirements. Clinicians have the flexibility and they can re record the information in the way they prefer without losing the meaning that was originally created in one system or the other. So in terms of global benefits of SNOM and CT, the IHDSDO ownership offers independent um, use of SNOMED of other proprietary code systems. So it's shared um, collaborative development and maintenance um, provides added benefit of international um, collaborative work and the uh, leveraging of that international investment. It is transparent, it, or rather it has transparent affordable licensing model it is free for use in member countries, so once a member country has joined IHDSDO, use of SNOMED is free of charge within the territory of that member state. Annual usage fees elsewhere um, are related to national wealth, so it depends on country's ability to pay. Um, it is based on World Bank's rating of countries. And there are free waivers for approved research and public goods use. It has international approach. It's standard worldwide coding of clinical concepts. It also provides support to translations um, in national languages. And it also enables cross-border data sharing in national languages. So at this point, before we move on to um, talking further about other benefits that SNOMED CT brings, I would probably like to pause for a moment and check in with people if um, there are any questions that anybody would like to raise or any comments. 
Eliara, we actually have one question here. Let me just pull this up. So we have a question from Shed Mercedes. Okay. Um, All right. How is it related well, we will to pick up any questions that may come up during our session. Okay. So moving on to the benefits that SNOM and CT can provide to the national EHR implementations. On the next slide, you'll be able to see the diagram that shows you at a high level what SNOM and CT um, can bring to various aspects of EHR implementation in a country. SNOM and CT based clinical information benefits individual patients and clinicians as well as populations and it supports evidence-based care. The use of an electronic health record improves communication and it increases the availability of relevant information. If clinical information is stored in ways that allow meaning-based retrieval, the benefits are greatly increased. The added benefits range from increased opportunities for real-time decision support to more accurate retrospective reporting for research and management. We will now look at those elements in further detail. On the next slide, you'll see that um, SNOM and CT uses the core features to enable meaning-based storage, sharing and retrieval of health records. This data adds value to electronic health records in a number of ways. Firstly, it enhances the care of individual patients by allowing appropriate information to be displayed based on selective meaning-based retrieval. It can also be used to allow interaction between health records and guidelines and decision support so that these tools can be integrated with clinical information and provide real-time advice to clinicians while delivering care. It can also help by allowing effective communication and sharing of relevant information between different clinicians involved in care of the same patient. SNOM and CT can also enhance the care of populations of patients through epidemiological monitoring and reporting and by allowing research into the cause and management of diseases. Additionally, SNOM and CT can support cost-effective delivery of care because it can help minimize the risks of costly errors. It can enable reduction of duplication of investigations or interventions auditing of the delivery of clinical services and planning of service delivery based on emerging health trends detected from meaning-based retrieval from patient records. So in terms of benefits that um, can be derived by vendors who adopt SNOM and CT in their solutions, SNOM and CT is increasingly a stated requirement in EHR system procurements across the world. For example, SNOM and CT is required in all EHRs in NHS England by April 2015. It is required in US government systems and uh, RNC in meaningful use, stage two. It is also preferred national clinical terminology in Australia. Even when it is not explicitly mentioned, SNOMED can contribute to meeting procurement requirements related to clinical records, to decision support, reporting, care quality measures, mapping to ICD-10 and other classifications. Um, SNOMED CT that way is providing um, competitive edge to vendors um, who can increase functionality in their solutions and that way adding unique market advantage. Um, it is also helping vendors to um, receive market accreditation in a local area that they want to enter. Um, there's also a reduction of development and end user costs by supporting only one um, terminology as opposed to potentially multiple terminologies in proprietary solutions. SNOMED CT is designed as a global terminology for healthcare and um, products built to use SNOMED CT can be deployed in many different countries. So that means it opens up selling into international markets. Um, SNOMED CT supports also recording um, at a level of detail appropriate to clinical record keeping, which means that 
satisfies clinic clinicians' expectations of vendors, and the recording of clinical data can be done at an appropriate clinical record level, and it also enables port portability of data across systems. So, in terms of how we can extend the use of um, SNOMA CT and what are the different aspects of um, benefits that can be utilized on a wider scale. The point to make in terms of achieving benefits with SNOMA CT is that using SNOMA CT in one place is useful, but additional ben benefits of using common clinical terminology is achieved from its widespread use. So, for example, regional or national or international initiatives can realize additional advantages of using SNOMA CT as a common foundation for meaningful clinical information. This may be for population-based research or analysis or the sharing of health records or other useful artifacts such as guidelines, decision supporting and mappings. So, in summary, SNOMED CT is the most comprehensive and precise clinical health terminology product accepted as a common language for health terms across the world. Patients and healthcare professionals benefit from improved health records, clinical decisions and analysis, leading to high quality consistency and safety in healthcare delivery. As a result, SNOMED CT has become the global language of healthcare. In terms of the key messages that um, the audience would be expected or hopefully um, by now would come to a conclusion is that um, SNOMED CT enables and supports electronic healthcare record and clinical knowledge management. It um, enables the systems to deliver a broad spectrum of tangible benefits. At one end of the spectrum, SNOMA CT provides basic operational cost savings to implementers by providing off-the-shelf terminology that is usable by providers, mapped to key classifications, and um, used for regulatory reporting, and supported by large and growing number of software vendors without the cost of developing and maintaining terminology locally. At the other end of the spectrum, SNOMED CT enables broad systemic benefits by enriching clinical information captured in EHR systems and making this information easier to exchange, aggregate and analyze. This in turn enables the clinical, technical and operational processes needed to help reduce waste reduce errors, and to improve population-based disease management practices. So SNOMED CT key elements are that it's an international terminology, it's multilingual, it is used in more than 50 countries, um, it is clinically designed by clinicians to support patient care, it is comprehensive, comprehensive um, and logically structured and scientifically validated. It enables meaning, meaningful and meaning-based capture, retrieval and sharing of information. It's extensible and configurable using reference sets. It is mapped to classifications and other international standards and the work is ongoing. And it facilitates convergence with other code systems. In terms of um, additional information. If you'd like some more additional information about SNOMA CT, I would encourage you to visit SNOMA CT eLearning Center, the ISDO website, and the SNOMA documentation page. If you'd like to also to explore the content of SNOMA CT further, um, you can visit one of the two browser sites listed at the bottom of this page. So at this point, I'd like to thank you for watching this presentation and I would like to open the floor to any questions that people may have.
Right. Thank you, Liara. We actually have here a couple of questions from our attendees. So the first question earlier was, I believe you were, a, were able to discuss this. Um, how is SNOMED CT related to IC decoding? That's the first question. Um, do you want me to take that, Liara? Sure. Um, ICD, the International Classification of Disease, um, is primarily focused on coding of diseases. So SNOMED CT has a much broader scope than that. It includes not just diseases, but also, as we said before, signs and symptoms, um, observable specimens, um, body structures. <clears throat> so the SNOMED CT covers a much broader scope of healthcare information. Secondly, ICD is a classification so the um, codes represent broader categories and each code is grouped in only a single group, um, which is really good for purposes like billing where you don't want um, a code to be counted in two different um, groupings. But for recording of clinical information, SMOMED CT um, allows a clinician to record um, codes at a much more detailed level or at a high um, general level if they want. So SNOMED-CT gives a lot more flexibility as to the specificity and it also um, groups things together in more than one category if um, it makes sense to do so. So I guess the summary is um, they both work together for different purposes. Right. Hello? Right. Thank you, Linda, for, for your response. We have another question from Mr. Duramdus Jr. is asking if, um, or does NOMID support visual representation of body parts? SNOMED CT um, provides the coding, the data, and the relationships between codes. So in that sense, it supports the visual representation of body parts, but it doesn't by itself provide the um, interface. software, yeah, mm -hmm. the interface um, to that. I see. Does it, um, or is NOMID also being used for RIS, PACS, and teleradiology systems? Um, yes. Um, in terms of um, pathology, um, SNOMED works hand in hand with LOINC, um, and I see that's related to another question as well that's um, on the Q&A. Um, the ArchDSTO and Reagan Street Institution have an um, agreement um, to work together. Okay, we also have a question here from um, Mia Alcantara. So if I am a U.S. company which is a member of IHTSDO, will I be able to use NOMED for a system developed by us but sold in a country which is not a member of the organization? Um, I'll take the question. Um, so the answer is um, the use of SNOMED in that system will be free of charge in the U.S. Mm -hmm or in other member countries, but if the system is deployed and used in a non-member country, then it will um, be fee payable service um, for use of SNOM and CT. So an affiliate licensing would apply to use outside of member country territories. I see. Right, thank you. Also a question from Mia. What would then be the limitations of SNOM and CT? Um, probably, yeah, go, go ahead. Um, I was just going to say that um, SNOMED CT international content um, supports codes that are relevant to um, two or more countries. So the, the limitation of the international edition is that if there are codes that um, or diseases um, that are specific to an individual country, um, then SNOMED provides an extension mechanism where you can add um, country-specific or hospital-specific um, additional codes. So, um, and I guess that's not a limitation Linda? because it provides that, I guess that's not a limitation because it provides that extensibility mechanism. 
Is my audio breaking up? Yes, I can hear you very well. Right, I'm sorry. I think my connection is a bit slow on some parts. But we have another question here. Do we have any free tools to test NOMAD CP structure or archetypes? Um, the IHDFCO um, ha is producing a number of free open source tools for browsing um, and using SNOMED CT. Um, and you can see those um, at a website, um, ihdfcotools.org, ihdfcotools.org. Um, but they're specifically focused on SNOMED. So right, anyone could if, take the question? Sorry, did you hear that answer? I think yes, I could, hear, I could could hear you, that. I'm sorry, could you hear me clear? There's a lot, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's proceed then with the next question. How many questions do we have more left for you to answer? Would you get more four or five more questions? Sure. Okay, so we have a question here from Mr. Sarmiento. So since there is an agreement, or the agreement was signed between SNOMED and LOINC, how far along have the efforts been, or what have been the initial outputs produced since the agreement was signed last year? Um, we have an alpha version of a um, the associations or the um, links between SNOMED and LOINC, and the, um, the final links will be published in the um, next version of SNOMED, which is released in January. Um, so they'll be completed at the end of the year. Okay, thank you. So another question from Cholab. School. How can we deal with new disease or classification which are not included in, in SNOMED CT? SNOMED CT provides an extension mechanism where um, organizations that um, can apply for a namespace um, to help them create their own globally unique identifiers for new concepts, new diseases and um, new codes. So um, those can all be um, created in a way that um, has globally unique identifiers using the SNOMED extension mechanism. Okay, that's great. Another question from Ms. Alcantara. Can SNOMED map to a local coding system done before cleaning the information and storing it into a local CDR? Yes. Um, the patient data doesn't need to be cleaned in order to perform the mapping. As long as you have the local code system um, and an understanding of the local code system, then you can perform a mapping from SNOMED CT to that local code system and then independently do the cleaning of the patient data. Okay, I see. What about your collaboration or the collaboration with OpenEHR and, and SNOMED? Um, the IHDFCO doesn't have a formal collaboration with Open Air, but um, we have offered to provide advice for um, them to perform um, terminology bindings to the Open Air archetypes. Mm -hmm. um, we're also providing advice to other groups, um, such as CIMI, Clinical Information Modeling Initiative, um, in terms of their terminology bindings. So um, helping organizations that produce um, information model standards such as OpenAir, SIMI, and HL7 in order to um, help them perform those bindings between the code system from SCT and um, the information models. I see. Now, a follow-up on the question on licensing, specifically for the Philippines, an example for, for EMRs being used in the country. Does the Philippines GNI allow it to use NOMED for free or some other uh, free use? Um, so, uh, because Philippines at this point in time um, is not a member country of IHDSDL, yes. it would um, have to apply for membership. 
at which point um, there would be a calculation of fee made and um, upon the payment of that by the national government, the use of Sonoma CT within Philippines would be free for um, all of the vendors and um, any other stakeholders within Philippines country. So do we have any more questions from the attendees? Okay, see, I think there's none, or if you have more questions, uh, as you can see on your screen, you can send an email to info at ihdsdo.org, or you can send us the email and we'll have it forwarded to our panelists, which is Leara and, and Linda, and we'll be forwarding their responses. Okay, so thank you for a very fruitful discussion. I think we, we had a lot of discussion on, on SNOMED CT, and what it does and how beneficial it is in terms of, of patient care and patient, deli uh, patient care delivery. And I think uh, one thing or one takeaway from, from, from Lear is that the, the real challenge on, on how to make health records meaningful is, is the use of SNOMED CT. And it's different, we have the, or Linda reiterated how it's different from ICD-10 or different from a classification because SCT or um, SNOMED CT is, is a more extensive or comprehensive um, tool for us to use. Now, we also discuss on, on why it's important because it supports different disciplines, specialties, and, and stages of, of patient care. So we will be sending the slides to all the panelists, or to, I mean, to our attendees. And, and after the session, uh, please check your emails or our follow-up message so that we can get your feedback on the session. And once we receive your responses, we'll send you more resources on the session. Again, um, thank you very much, uh, Liara and, and Linda, for um, discussing Snowman CT for us and for sharing your knowledge and expertise in, in this matter. Okay, Thanks. so you. you're welcome. Now, we'll be seeing you on the 15th of October, hopefully, for another special 18 hour on, on ISO TC215. Um, this will be in preparation for the standards, which will be discussed on our December general meeting here in Manila. So always visit our website, that's uh, bit.ly.com slash Eighteen hour, and for a schedule of our next webinars. Okay, so we'll be sending the slides after you send your evaluation to us. And again, this is Gilbert Mina on behalf of Alia Evangelista and the Asia eHealth Information Network. Thank you for joining us in this eighteen hour, and have a wonderful day. Thank you very much. Thank you.